Hi there. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the PicTech non contact fuse finder. Model is 3432. As you can see here, it has acoustic and optical signal when you actually find uh, the fuse that you are searching for, and it also has an RCD test for 30 milliamp hours. And I will also link in the description um, another tester from PicTech that can uh, much more in-depth test uh, RCDs. But now let's get to this one and unbox it. Now let's get inside the nice little pouch in here. And we have this which plugs into the socket where you want to find the particular fuse. And Obviously, this is uh, powered from the socket, so it doesn't need a battery or anything like that. Weirdly enough, it has three LEDs in here. Hmm. Uh, ah, for this. So, if these two are on, correct wiring is this. If this is uh, on also, then it's missing uh, ground. Okay, so basically, this at the bottom are the color code right here and RCD test this little guy right here. Okay, cool. Read the instruction before using uh, test. Yep, for sure. Uh, make sure you are not tripping uh, something where uh, there are, I don't know, life providing devices. So uh, make sure you are not tripping the fuse of the whole apartment building or something like that because you don't know what your neighbors have plugged in for, for example. So be a little bit careful when, uh, when testing RCDs, you want to test your own and uh, not something else. Normally on the whole building, uh, it should be something more than, uh, than this, but yeah, anyway, uh, just watch Electro Boom on, uh, on YouTube and you will see when he's playing with uh, RCDs, uh, sometimes the wrong RCD uh, reacts first because for an RCD not only the value matters but also the reaction time. More complicated. Anyway, and here is the... the... Uh, the, the transmitter, let's call this uh, receiver. <laughs> I think that's that's best. All of this blue is rubber, so it has a really nice feel in the hand. Okay, so it can detect voltage on off. It's the same button or are they two in here? So one. I think it's only one or no, I have, I hear a different uh, I think they are two. They, yeah. One, two. They are two. Ha <laughs> ha. Got it. Anyway, you can see some LEDs in there. And uh, more info if you want right here. Should be pressed momentarily every time a new test is performed in order to reset the calibration. Okay. And for non-contact uh, detector, voltage detector, test on non-life circuit before use. Yep, that makes sense to make sure the tool is working uh, properly. And I'm expecting right here we will be plugging this thingy in in a moment. Let me undo that. Why I need something like this? Well, uh, when we bought the house, Obviously, um, the, the walls were pre-wired, so all the wiring was in the walls. We don't really know uh, where the electrician uh, put each wire uh, exactly, so uh, I don't ex exactly have a complete list with what fuse cuts what. Uh, there was a list, but I found uh, it wasn't 100% accurate. So basically, every single time I, I needed to, 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 to do something and I needed to cut the power, uh, 
took off one of the fuses that I thought it's the one and if it didn't work uh, took out a bunch more until I found the good one. But with something like this I will basically write on every single socket what fuse number uh, I need to take, take out to stop electricity in that particular socket and it's much easier like that. And I can also make a, a list but just having the text on the socket itself, it's, I think, even easier. Okay, now let's put this uh, battery right back in here. Doesn't wanna go in like that, maybe it wants to go in like this. Yeah, it wants to go in like this. Make sure you do not get the wire uh, caught by the plastic. You do not want to, to damage it, obviously. Tighten in place, let's see. It's on. Do we find some electricity? Oh, I need to press. Ah, did you hear it? <laughs> so the beeping is for the fuse finder. It's finding the signal that this thing is putting into the network. And the buzzing is for NCD. Let me uh, show you. NCV, sorry. So let's test for voltage. We press this. You can see the red LED. But for this thingy, we need to plug it in and... Uh, I should read the manual for first, shouldn't I? Because it's basically playing with mains. Yeah, I should read the manual. Normally I don't read manuals, but it's mains, so yeah. Obviously if anything needs to be said, uh, long press it to shut it off actually, because otherwise it resets it. And this thingy sits like that if you need it to sit like that. But let's get to the manual itself. As always, tic tech manuals from the middle we have English. If you want, uh, here are the numbers for this, but they might actually be also in the English part. Safety precautions. Double insulated, so obviously... Uh, actually, it does have grounding on it. Normally double, double insulated uh, devices don't, uh, don't uh, require a grounded plug, but I think it uh, uses it for... Uh, RCD testing, so even if it's double insulated, it, it actually needs it. It's not just here, it's actually connected inside the, the unit itself. Some more info right here. Not a big manual, so probably it's uh, decently easy to use, but uh, yeah. To detect fuses in a circuit. Transmitter receiver. Transmitter is used as signal generator. Receiver is used to locate the fuse in the fuse box. That's <laughs> as easy as that. And you can find uh, voltages with the non-contact voltage detector. RCD test you can carry out with the button. Okay. That's actually really nice. It, it, it takes out all the guesswork from what you need to do. Okay, expect following sections. So uh, I am going to be reading this in more detail, but uh, at the moment I'm just going to uh, get over it and allow you to pause at any time if you don't have the manual. So, RCD transmitter use, auto switch off. Okay, so this will switch off after the three minutes. Okay, operating height, temperature, storage temperature, drop test, 2 meters, yes it has rubber right here, it's kind of, yeah this will not, not like if you drop it directly in, in this end, so don't do that, IP40, this is the weight, ah, everything, so all of them together, now let me read how to use this and let's play with it, play, play. Basically find the fuses, but for me it's play. Huh. 
Now this is one easy to use tool. I like that. RCD test. Obviously, you plug this thing in. Only these two need to be green. These two need to be lit up. Press the button. This will flicker for a moment, and RCD should be tripped. That's about it. If you have an, any other combination, you cannot trip the RCD. That's simple. So you do need a, a connection, uh, a socket that has earth on it, 100% to test RCD. Non-contact voltage test. As you could see, power this thingy on and hold this and you are in non-contact voltage detection mode. And for fuse detection, plug this thingy in. Again, these two need to be lit, so these two right here. Uh, and then you go to your fuses, turn this thing on, and let's say these are your fuses. You start going perpendicular to them, and it will start to be faster and faster the more you close, uh, you are closer to it, and let's say it's the last one. When you are over it, it will continuously uh, beep, and this will be red and uh, you found your fuse. It's no brainer, honestly. It's, it's really nice, easy to do. Let's uh, find fuses. And I'm plugged into a random socket uh, in the house. These are not flickering uh, in real life, almost at all. They are just a tiny bit. So maybe the mains frequency, but uh, not as on video. Uh, anyway, they are lit, both of them, so we are okay. I have no clue what fuse number this socket has. Absolutely no clue. So let's see how well we can find it and how easy. Now let's do this. Turn it on and see. Okay. I think this was. A... <laughs> this is our fuse, number six. So for this one, it's just beeping slightly, but. We found our fuse, number six. So it seems it, it likes to be right there uh, on the on the flip switch. Okay. Hopefully I'm not shutting off too many things because I have no clue what else is connected in here, but... Oh, sorry about that. That goes back. So that one now should be off. As you can see, we don't get a beep, so normally the device should be off should be off. Let me go and see if the device is actually off. And as expected, the device is off. Now I will just... Oh, yikes, that was not good. I will just unplug this and write right there in the middle uh, S6 from Siguranță 6, Fuse 6, <laughs> translated in Romanian. And now if I ever need uh, to, to shut this off, I'm just looking at it. Hey. S6. Okay. Close that one and we are done. Or actually open that one. And if you plug this in backwards, as you can see here, it's telling us, uh, which is the case right here, hot and neutral reversed. Which is exactly the case because we have ground, but uh, normally live is on the right, neutral is on the left. But if we rotated this plug, it shows them as reversed, which is absolutely normal and working as expected. We also have a few of these around the house which do not have ground and they are made especially for night lights. Basically nothing else plugs into these thingies and we can see in here only middle which means open ground. Yep, no ground present. Let's try to find another fuse. This one is in the bathroom and should be one of the RCDs. I'm not going to test it for sure. Or should I test it? Ah, it's gonna pop the main fuse for the whole house, isn't it? Uh, hmm. Should I or shouldn't I? Let me tell my wife at least. Okay, 
told to the missus so I should not get to beat up and power should go now. You saw it blinking and power was cut to the whole house and why the smaller fuse for the bedroom did not pop and it, uh, the big fuse for the house popped the video in the description will explain all of that in detail with uh, the RCD tester, uh, the more advanced one from Pictet once again. So let me put back the fuse and find uh, the fuse we are plugged into now. And I'm back, everything is live, let's find that fuse. Okay, let's turn this on. And yeah, it should be one of those or that one. Hmm. Okay. And we found our culprit. So this is the fuse uh, for that socket. I can shut it off easily and let's check the device. Voila! So this is an extremely easy to use tool. I, I just like stuff like this that you can't go wrong with it. You really can't go wrong. So that's about it for this video. Thank you very much PicTech for sending this tool in. Extremely easy to use. Works perfectly. Makes things much easier and eliminates all the guesswork. And for a professional when you are going into someone house, uh, someone's house and they have absolutely no clue most times what fuel is what, pop this uh, into the socket and uh, in one minute uh, you, you know everything you need. So, <laughs> really nice. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So, as always, see you in the next video. If you would like more uh, videos uh, like this, subscribe to the channel, check out already released videos uh, from my tools playlist and uh, yeah see you next time bye